Hi, today we're going to use our tag, Stella Bella and Sting. How about First, we drop some water. We need to keep it nice and warm because they'll get cold really quick. So, first, we draw the water. We need about probably every couple weeks or a few weeks at least because they don't have any fur on them. The cholesterol oils on their body. So, it builds up fat. You can see Salazala is going to go in. As long as the water is not running, she'll, she'll be okay. If I turn the water on, she's not happy. We're using baby tearless soap. I'm just spray it on her. I'm going to use my hands and rub it around on her. Make sure you get their face and their ears under their neck. Use a, a light scrub soft. To get a little better scrub on her. And she has a little tiny bit of ratty hair on her tail, I call it. So I do her tail real good and her bum. Oops, she's trying to escape. Stay Stella. Then you get their toes real good. And if they have claws, you can um, wipe their claws, scrape their claws, because they usually get. Um, build up on their on their nails, so you would scrape their nails also if they had them, especially the back ones. They get a lot, but I just didn't sell it because I trimmed them a couple of days ago. Trying to do this pretty fast. And then we run. And the water's dirty, really dirty, changes to rinse, but like Stella doesn't like the water um, running, so I try not to have to put the water running while she's in here because she gets really upset. Wash under her belly. Oop! There we go, Stella. Get up. Wash under her belly. I'm going to let the water out. Wrap her up. Cut her off. Where are you cleaning now? Dry her off. And there's Stella. And she had her bath. And she's all happy. And that's how you give your Sphinx cat a bath.